Hey guys, uh, this is Brad M73 with an unboxing of my brand new G910 Orion Spark by Logitech. Um, I've been looking at quite a few different, <coughs> quite a few different mechanical keyboards. Excuse me for the little break. I'm just hitting puberty again. Uh, <laughs> uh, but I, I kind of looked through a bunch of different keyboards, and this was probably the one that I thought was like the coolest looking design. Um, as well as um, I, the fact that all the, the keys were programmable with a huge variety of different colors. And uh, so I ended up going with this because I had a bunch of gift certificates and things like that to a uh, national retail chain that uh, carries this. And so I thought I'd pull the bullet or pull the, no, bite the bullet, pull the ripcord, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> I, I just finally decided to go ahead and do it. So I'm doing it. You guys are seeing it, and I'm going to film it. Um, and you guys are going to get my first impression because it's not been opened here. It's not been opened here. So it's it's a nice, big, heavy box. It has the, let's see, the mechanical keyboard. Let's see, individual key lighting and... And Claire Individuel Destouches. I don't know. It's like, it's French or something, because, you know, French Canadia. Um, let's see here. How do I want to open this, first of all? Um, all right, I'll just open it. Pull out my trusty Kershaw knife here. And this, this blade has seen a lot of use. Look at that. It's been a box cutter for <laughs> many, many years. All right, so. Is that the side? I, yeah. Is it? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to do this. We are going to do this. Some box in a box. Ooh, look at that. It's like the Logitech logo. Pretty cool. So I will stand this up. Somewhere back. Come on. There we go. Stand that up back there. And I think this just comes right off. Yes, it does. And, of course, uh, they put it in backwards. Um, pretty nice box there. It's just a box, though. Nothing too special. And there is the keyboard. And... Um, I have heard some complaints about the ridges um, on the keys, so I'm a little bit scared, I guess. I was, I was a little bit apprehensive about, um, you know, the you actually buying this keyboard, but it was really the only one that kind of did exactly what I wanted it to do. Um, I'm just going to... There is a, there's a little manual in here, and... Okay, nothing else in the box there. So, let's see here. We've got the uh, USB cable there. And we've got this little uh, slot here where we can set up a phone. So, you know, if you've got, you know, an iPhone or an Android phone... You know, you can set it up in there. That's just one of my old iPhones. Um, so you can do that. And um, very nice. We'll, we're going to take a look. Probably not to... Ooh, it's nice and... Ugh, it's got some, must have some rubber grippy stuff. Yeah, it's got some nice big rubbery grippy pads here. Uh, it's got some feet. So let's put those up. See if it's still... Yeah, it's still pretty nice and grippy there. And then this front piece pops off. So that comes off there. It's just kind of like a rest, you know, a palm rest. And then you can actually put this bigger one on, which I think this one definitely looks more cool. And I think, is that all it does? It just flips, yeah. 
there's kind of like a little hinge in there, so it kind of does move, but um, there it is, and um, that's pretty cool. Put my knife away here. Hopefully you guys aren't seeing my mic cable in the picture too often, but um, feels nice, looks great. Um, I'm going to have to mess around with it some, and... Uh, We'll have to see, you know, what it's all about. And that actually will start with uh, my PC build, uh, which all the parts should be here tomorrow. I wanted to go ahead and get this in today and, um, you know, get it unboxed. So I'll have everything out here tomorrow. We're going to do a big, huge uh, unboxing of everything, and then I'm going to put everything together. So hopefully you guys will uh, stick around for that. So... So far, so good. Um, definitely feels like a nice, nice keyboard. So I don't know. You will have to stick around for some future videos, and uh, you know, see if it's really, you know, see if I think it's really worth it after playing with it for, you know, a month or, or so. But um, all the keys are backlit. Uh, they do light up. It's like sixteen point. 7 million color. Let's see here if it says on the box. Um, not really. Uh, let's see here. In-game display from M. That's not it. Nine individually customizable G keys. Oh, that's what these are for. There's five here. There's four up there. Um, yeah, individual key lighting, individual key lighting that can be customized from a palette of 16.8 million colors. So, yeah, I mean, if you look, hopefully I can see here on the box, I don't have the light, but you can see how, you know, there's different lighting patterns. Now, you can have it all one color or you can have it, you know, set up like this or however you want it. Um, there's even an interface uh, in the um, in the the software, I'm assuming I'll have to download it off of Logitech's website. But um, you can actually program it with any number of uh, color patterns. I'm going to just grab the manual here, and it'll probably be like, "Go to our website and do set up good in French." Yeah, I don't need. Is it? Oh, it's English and French. Oh, does it say? Uh, programmable G keys. Uh, uh, download and install the Logitech gaming software from logitech.com slash support slash G910. So, yes, uh, we'll, we'll do that. I'm uh, going to do that on the new computer. And uh, and then we'll be able to see exactly uh, exactly what this sucker does because I I think it's going to be pretty cool. I like the size of it. Um, it's been years, guys, literally years since I've worked on a full size keyboard. <laughs> so uh, ah, I messed up my. Uh, uh, uh. Sorry, I hit my tripod. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's been years since I've used a full-size mechanical keyboard, so uh, we're going to see how that goes. That'll be fun. But I think I'll survive. I think I'll make it through. So guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to uh, thumb this video up. Give me a like, please, uh, and share, because it uh, helps me grow my channel, let other people know what the Brad M73ster is doing. I'm not a Brad M73ster. That was totally dumb. Um, <laughs> but, uh, you know, please like, share, comment. Let me know uh, if you've used this keyboard and you think it sucks donkey balls. Please let me know. Uh, if you think it's the awesomest keyboard you've ever used, uh, let me know. If you think there's certain things that you would change, let me know. Um, and I'll try to respond to comments and, uh, and post some of my feedback uh, as I use this keyboard. But definitely cool, definitely nice and futuristic looking. You know, if I type Brad M73 for the first time, it's going right into nowhere. So who knows? But um, 
you know, subscribe for this and more videos. Thank you so much again for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.